Hey, it's Webs here with the task two of the new Nazoth event. The task in question this time being completing the Ice Howl bounty without any blocks of ice on the board remaining in Winter Spring. This is a really simple task to actually do. The easiest way to do this is by using nature. The reason I say this is because if you keep one of the opposing mercenaries alive, you can easily target off any of the ice blocks on your field with your own mercenaries without having to worry too much about the damage output they can possibly do because you do restore HP every time you use any type of ability. The first mercenary on the team is Malfurion who are using Life Root Staff to heal our other mercenaries up, but you could easily replace him with Andacondra who is also in the team. I just prefer to use Malfurion because I have access to him. Brucon, Brucon we're using lightning rod so that our chain lightning just allows us to clear out a little bit quicker for guff we're of course using bramble thorn totem and then for lady anaconda i'm using signet of the wilds and like mentioned before if you need to use lady anaconda instead of malfurion use signet of the wilds just as a way to increase the amount of healing you're actually doing to both her and someone else all right with that all being said let's look at how i actually did this task so to start off with this task, we are going to be putting down Malfurion, Rukan, and Guff. And we're basically going to be hard targeting the Ice Owl mercenary on the opposite side. Because the quicker we can actually get that done, the less damage we actually have to worry about actually healing up. I'm just going to swap those around real quick. Might as well use Ice Owl as a way to do 50 damage to the ice blocks on our side. And then here we'll just be able to finish off Ice Hell and be able to do a bunch of damage to one of the other units on the other side. Then once... We actually have one of them real low, and we can actually just finish it off with one ability. We're going to, have to start focusing the ice blocks on our side of the board until they are dead. They are going to heal up a little bit every time we do use a ability, but it doesn't really matter too much because we're infinitely scaling our damage up. Then next turn we can just finish off the last one on their side and complete the task.